things have been very interesting, especially when it comes to PE and this virtual learning. <laughs> we actually have three PE teachers and we pretty much do around the same things. I know personally in my class, um, every other day is a workout day. Uh, so I will send them a video, uh, they'll work out, I'll kind of give them pointers and, and information about why this is happening, what type of muscle group you're, you're working. And afterwards, they send me a journal on how they felt, what did they, leave, what did they like, what they didn't like, uh, how they felt, and what do they think that they can improve on next. And so, um, you know, for the most part, like I said, every other day we have that workout segment and then the, the flip side of that, um, the other every other day, uh, we're doing uh, a lesson. So right now we're doing volleyball, give them some uh, information to, to pay attention to, do some videos where we stop, kind of dissect the play, uh, or going through the different positions. So really just utilizing uh, videos to teach in the platform that we have with uh, OpenLMS to communicate back and forth with. I have a class of 39 and a class of six. <laughs> so that's just the way that the scheduling ended up happening. Here, you know, it's, it, it's different. We have plenty of room, even uh, if they were to be on site. So that's what I'm thankful for is that uh, we have gyms inside um, that we have plenty of room for to accommodate our students and have enough equipment and stuff to actually really have some good PE classes. But right now the virtual aspect obviously fits best for you could fit as many kids on there as possible. Um, it's just, you're kind of just praying and hoping that they're actually doing what you asked them to do. Uh, so that's when you get the feedback and it's just like, all right, you know, you can, you can make something up, but that's, that's on them, that's their health. You know, I always try to push nutrition and health and, and helping them understand that, you know, working out and, and getting this knowledge is something that's going to be a lifelong journey for you. And it's best to know it now. PE is really physical education. But one thing that I've learned in my own life is that physical education is also mental health. Uh, being able to, to get up, we were created to move. We were created to, to do things. We were our body's not designed to sit and be stagnant. And when we sit and are stagnant, our mind starts to get that way too. And so being able to get that energy out allows you to open up uh, more brain power and energy to bring in the day's knowledge. And so that you can ingest that instead of just blocking it out just because you're in a brain fog. And so um, physical education is mental health. If you would like any uh, additional information, especially when it comes to physical education and, and trying to help out uh, that mental health, uh, you can contact me at carljrandolph at gmail.com.